Hey guys, welcome back to Chef Talk and welcome back to another unboxing video. If you don't know what we're doing here today, where have you been? Because <laughs> this is the fourth unboxing video. This is Star Wars Unlimited set two. We've unboxed three other boxes before this. So minor spoilers. If you haven't watched part one, two, or three, I'm going to say a couple of things of what I received in the other boxes. And I'm clearing this stuff off because I am doing this consecutive. So you can let me know in the comments down below how dumb my boxes are because a lot of them have been duplicates after duplicates after duplicates um, with a few legendaries and whatnot thrown in. But yeah. But we're going to get right into this, so I'm going to turn the camera upside down and we're going to watch what I get. <sighs> and then, like I said, I'm wondering if this, because of like all the ones I got, pretty much a lot of them are the same. Jeez, this one's like... Um, if that's because all of my boxes have come through Third Eye Games. <laughs> Ooh, I am kind of all over the place with this one. So put these ones here, these ones over here, put these in here. So, if you uh, knew, first part one, we started with the left. Part two, we started on the right. Part three, we started on the left. So, part four, we're going to start on the right. Um, we are tied for the most legendaries. Box two and three gave us five legendaries. So, that is what we're trying to beat or get a showcase. And just to see if there's any cards that I haven't, you know, opened yet. Or, but these have been a lot of the same, so we'll see. We've definitely seen Ray and Cornet City. So yeah, so I will say I am kind of a little disappointed because again, we're following pretty much the same pattern. Some of these arts look really good, especially in that hyperfoil or hyperspace. I tell you. So we're blowing through the commons and pretty much even the uncommons a lot. Real quick, I do like that card as well. Just so that way we can see if we get a legendary, if we get something special. You know, we'll admire the hyperspace, we'll admire, especially if we get a hyperspace foil or something like that. But we're gonna blast through these really quick. Um, I'll stop, like I said, I always like Rival's Fall. I think it is a definitely a very good card. And we do have a hyperspace down there. Moment of Glory, I think, is a very good card. We definitely have, I think we have a full set of Moisture Farmer at this time. I think we got the hyperspace, Hyperfoil, I think we got the Foil, I think we got the, now we have the Hyperspace. I just think we have everything right now for Moisture Farmer. Armor is a good one. Cassian's a good one. Oh, first Legendary, Dryden Voss. I don't even think we have a Dryden Voss yet, so first Legendary of this pack, or this box, first Dryden Voss, that's very nice, so that's one. Ooh, that's an upside down card. <laughs> wow, okay. And but that is just a regular uncommon. And then we have a Pike Sentinel. Well, I guess put the rest of these over there. So one so far, I, you know, when opening two packs, that's not bad at all. Lando, we've definitely seen. Remote Village, obviously seen. I think we have every base color now. Because uh, I don't think there is any special ones in this pack or this box set. Let me know down in the comments if I'm wrong. I tried to stay pretty um, hyperspace. I think we might have a full set of the Warbird, Warbird Stowaway too. Uh, if there's any special lands, I don't think there is any. I think all the epic lands, I don't think there's any epic lands in this box. Another upside down. This one is Kraken Gore, which we already have, and then a Night Hour Skirmisher Foil. Yeah, I don't think there's any special lands or epic lands in this this set. So, ooh, hyperspace Java, hyperspace Java's palace. That's all. But if this follows like the last box, the hy double hyperspace definitely did not give us any kind of special sauce. You know, Gengar, Yeah, because it is. What is going on? This set is like has them upside down. And then the nice hyperfoil. That is good. What is going on? Every, one, every pack has had that, that card be upside down. Okay. 
Cat Bane. We have plenty of Cat Banes. We have plenty of Death Watch. So yeah, like the longer the nice hyperspace, the longer this these videos take. It seems like the shorters again. And another legendary though, Snoke. We got Snoke in another box, but that is great. That's two legendaries and another hyper or foil. So only need four more to beat the record. Phoenix Sean Java. And I'm still I'm hoping when I'm when I come back to watch these videos, I've requested it in every other video. I am looking for like four or five deck techs from you guys. Yeah, I got that one. Another wrecker. I love Wrecker. We're gonna put him over to the side here. Cloud Raider, we have that one. Um, so first deck tech I'm looking for you guys from. I want a good young solo deck tech. Give me a deck tech that I can take solo out for competitive. Let me know in the comments. Hit me up on any of the social media links that I have below. Um, also Sabine, I wanna bring Sabine up. I hear she's pretty good in set two, mixing her up some. So let me know. Nice. Um, and then I want to do a proper Mando deck, I, which is probably going to entail Sabine. Something tells me that the, all the Mando cards plus Sabine that would fit. I feel like that's going to be a thing, uh, especially with her abilities. But I also want to do a Wookiee deck. I have so many Wookiees that it is just. Out of this world. So, and then if any other deck techs, like especially competitive ones, it's like, see, why are these all upside down? Because, yeah. I'm trying to be better, and like I said, I didn't spoil myself too much on set two. Okay. Again, Han, help me build a deck around this guy. I think he will be a great competitor. I know I already have a hyperspace with that. So let me know down in the comments down below or any of the social media links. Crosshairs, love it. Tobias, we already got him. And Twin Pro. Yeah. And I know I keep harping on what the repetitive nature of these packs, man. I tell you, it is like they just threw the same card set in each of these boxes, man. It is not even, like, nice. Ooh, I think that's my first hyperspace of the Jabba's Rancor, though. And then we get that. Eh, Embo, I know we already have it. A foil Embo. Two more packages from the right side. Right side did pretty well. We got a, a Wrecker plus two Legendaries. I think we already have a hyperspace Bosk. So, not complaining. Cargo Juggernauts, man. I now have like a shit ton of Cargo Juggernauts. And then on Prize Lackey, and then Nice Foundling, which I think we already have a foil Foundling. One more pack for the right side. Can we hit Legendary one more time on the right side? It will be nice if it was. Hondo. Like, I've never realized, and I've seen it a couple times with the remote. Uh, the science facility that the, the art is like just so dark it's like a black and white it just always gets me it's like kind of stunning really on the artwork that they have there but guys the set's been out for a week what do you guys think um are you enjoying it what are the decks that you're playing let me know down in the comments down below because I think there's some really good cards. I can't wait to play some of these new decks and see um, what the meta is. And I'm sorry if I'm going too fast. Another finalizer. Let's go. And a damn foil Infis Ness. I like it. Finalizer. We did get that's our third finalizer that we've opened, which is great because I, I really love it. So that means I have a place. To I have a set for a deck if I want to put three finalizers, which I don't know if I want to put three finalizers into a deck. 
That might be a little too much, but you know, you never know. There might be some decks out there that call for it. Ooh, Hyperspace Lady Proxima, that's nice. And then our boy, Dr. Pershing and the uh, Royal Commission. Not bad, we got three legendaries, still need three to beat the tie. And then we got a Wrecker, which is nice. Quiet City. So, nice. I just, hyperspace and the foils just really look good in my opinion. Ooh, we got Tobias Hyperspace, nice. And another legendary Evacuate. I don't know if I have Evacuate yet. Return each non-leader unit to its owner's hand. Wow. That is definitely a nice little board wipe. For six, that's not bad at all. And then a Gamorrean Retainer. So that's four legendaries. Two more to go. One to tie, two to beat. Will we do it? Hit me in the comments down below. Tell me, are we going to tie or beat um, the last packs? Hyperspace Cad, Hyperspace Navarro, which means we're probably not going to get crap in this deck. Because I have not hit crap when we've done double hyperspace at the beginning. So, yeah, just a rear salt cruiser and a hawk. But we shall see what's going on. Ah, but oh, Kylo, that's like our third Kylo. Spice Spines, Moment of Glory, which I really do love. Yeah. I've been enjoying this. The next step, obviously, after this is to... Oh, nice foil armor. Is to um, sort them, so that way I know what I'm playing with. <laughs> and that's probably going to take a minute. Actually, I still got to get this stuff out of my car. I have, like, the pre-release weekend in my car still, because I just... I've been busy. If you guys have been paying attention to the other parts, I've... I've said what you know why it's taken me so long. Again, another Infus Nest, another Java, another Akira. Yeah, I do have Akira and a Rokai gunship. Like I would like the Kylo Starship. I would like Dark Saber. I would you know there's so many other legendaries I'd like to get, but we don't seem to be able to hit that. And it's I don't know if it's just because that we got all these boxes from Third Eye Games and how the way they did it. It's been in prison. Catch unit loses its current abilities and cannot gain abilities. That is so then foil pershing. I don't think I have a foil pershing. But it just it really seems like because I picked up all these boxes at one place that um They're all the same. Like, I do want to pick up from games and stuff. I do want to pick up a box and check. We got, we got a hypo pool there. Ooh, another Emperor and Cartel Turncoat Hyper Pool. Nice. Do like the Emperor one. Definitely will be going into some of my decks for sure. But I want to test it out on games and stuff. I don't even know if games and stuff has any more packs left open or boxes. But I would definitely love to try to see if they have at least one and to see if this fo this follows suit because it is really, these have all been pretty much the same. A few changes here and there. But I'll give in to your anger. Yeah. And then a foil. But they've been following a pattern and it sucks. But... It is what it is, I guess. Han Solo. But I'm trying to figure out, like, I know there's a certain pattern, and it'll tell you whether or not your your box is going to hit. And really, I don't think for the most part my box is another Millennium Falcon, which is good. But I don't really think mine is the good box. Now, we've had some really good hits, I'm not going to lie. Go check out my earlier videos. Especially... Uh, part one, Hyperspace Finnick, and you'll see why I say that. 
we've definitely hit some good ones, but we haven't hit like a lot of top cards. And it doesn't look like we might not even tie for best box with this one because we got this is the last pack. We only have four legendaries unless we got a double legendary in there. And I know it's possible, at least it's been hit before. So and maybe I messed up and didn't see a legendary, but I'm usually pretty good at seeing a legendary. I like Salacious Chrome, nice hyperspace. But nope. Two sides is another good one. Modded cohort, which I know we have. So guys, that was pretty much a bust for us right now. Um, yeah, so we got one, two, three, four legendaries plus Wrecker. You know, it is what it is. Oops, let's move it over some. Because I didn't realize my thing was not subject. But guys, that is all I have time for today. Thank you for watching. We have one more part to go after this. But if you haven't done so already, please remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. It does help my channel out greatly. And I do truly appreciate each and every one of you. But this is Dart Shep, signing off.